In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add extra custom product options and sections for those product options inside of WooCommerce. We're going to add these to our Rainbow Macaroon products so people can customize their orders. And we're going to see how all that works in this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass in the WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get started. So to add custom options and custom sections to our Rainbow Macaroons, the very first thing we're going to do is add a plugin. Let's go to plugins and then add new and look up extra product options. And the one we want is this one right here. Five out of five rating, 20,000 active installs. Untested with the current version. This will be updated pretty soon. They keep this plugin up to date quite regularly. I'm going to click on install now and then activate. If you're installing this on a live website, I recommend you back up your site first. Check out the tutorial in the card above and the description down below, which will help you back up your site if you need help. It's always best to have a backup. It's pretty rare things go wrong, but when they do, it's good to have a backup. Now that's installed and activated. We can go to WooCommerce under products, and then we have the extra product option link right here. Now this allows us to add custom fields to our product. Let's just see what our product is. It is this guy right here, the rainbow macaroons. And what I want to add here is the ability for customers to customize their rainbow macaroons. For example, we have different fillings, different color combinations. Maybe they want to have an orange top and a red bottom or a pink top and a red bottom or have both sides green. You get the idea, just custom options. So I'm going to come back in here and we have the ability to add product options as single options and to add new sections, which will add a, in, in our case, a customization section to our macaroons. So first I'll show you how it is to add the, the single options. So let's go to add field and let's make it a text field. There's a lot of options to choose from. We'll go through a couple of these. They're all very similar. So once you know how to do a couple of them, it's, it's all the same. So for the name, I'm just going to enter uh, top underscore color. This is for the plugins reference. This is not visible by anybody on the site. For label, this one is visible. This one will show up on the website. I'm going to call this top half color. Default value, leave blank. For the placeholder, I'm going to say, what do you want the color of the top half of your macaroon to be? For validation, I'm not going to choose either of these because it's not an email or a number field. And I'm going to make this required and make it enabled. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. We also have display styles options. We can give this specific field a wrapper for the entire field, including the label. You can have a class for just the label itself and you can choose where the label should be left of the field or above. I'm gonna choose above so the field is larger. For display rules, you can set where this will appear. This is specific to our rainbow macaroons. We don't want this to appear on all other product types. So I'm going to choose product equals start typing rainbow macaroon. So this custom option field we're making right now is only going to appear in the rainbow macaroons, which is what we want. You can add a lot more conditions. You have and or operators. You can customize very specifically where you want these fields to appear. I'm going to save and close. I'm going to click on save changes. And now we're going to see how this looks. Let's come back out here and refresh. We have our new field right here. Top half color. What do you want the color of the top half of your macaroon to be? Can't see all of it. You want to shorten the placeholder so it's all visible in the field. And for the color option, it might also be a good idea to make it a drop down instead. So let's change it from text to a select. We're going to keep it the top half color, labels top half color. This is where we set the options. These are separated by a pipe character. I'm going to make them red, orange, blue, green. When there's a text field and people can just say whatever color they want, they might say fuchsia or magenta or, uh, I don't know, sunflower. And you might not have those colors. We know that we have red, orange, blue, and green. So we're going to force them to select one of those. For the placeholder of a select box or a dropdown, I like to have select as the placeholder. Default value, leave that as it is, make this required. Let's click on save and close, save changes. Come back out here, refresh again. Now we have this as a dropdown. Now they pick 
a color and then we can find them within the options that we have available, which I like much better. So that's how we add custom fields and you can add more than one. You can duplicate this. Let's just call this one bottom half color, bottom color, keep all the rest the same. Click on save changes, save changes, refresh out here. Now we have a top half and a bottom half color. But because we're adding a bunch of different options for customizing macaroons, I think we should have a separate section. To add a separate section, this plugin allows us to click on add new section. For the name slash ID, we have to give it a name like we've done for all the others. This is specific to the back end. The visitors will not see this name, it's just for the plugins reference and for your reference. So make it descriptive, no spaces, just words, numbers, and underscores. I'm gonna call it macaroon customization. Give it a title of choose your options. I think is a pretty good one. You can display it before the add to cart button. You can also have it after if you want. If you have multiple sections, you can change which order they display in. We only have one, so we can keep that as it is. The column width one and column width two, we're gonna keep blank, but you can specify specifically how wide you want them to be. If you leave them blank, they just fill up whatever area is available. We also have some other display styles. We can add classes for CSS to wrap or for the whole wrapper or the whole section. And we have a title class for just the title. We can choose the title type. We're gonna choose H3 and title color. By default, it'll pick up the theme color for H3, or we can define a specific color right here. And display rules. We're gonna add this specifically to our macaroons again, the rainbow macaroons. And then click on save and close. And now we have our new section called choose your options. We click to there, we see we don't have any options inside of here. They're all over here. And as far as I know, you can't move them. So we just have to recreate these under choose your options. So I'm just gonna delete them from here. Let's just select those and click on remove and then go to choose your options. And I'm just gonna add those fields again. I'm gonna have select area, top color, top half color, placeholder is select and options. These guys make that required display styles, put it on top above the field, the display rules. We don't have to set these because they're inside of a section that already has display rules, but you could uh, theoretically, I think if you have your sections appear on a whole category and then you can have specific display rules for specific fields within that category or the specific products within that category to have this specific field appear, if that made sense, save and close. Duplicate that. I'm gonna make this bottom half color and keep everything the same and save and close. And then save changes. Let's see how this looks. This should put it in its own section. Refresh the page. And here we have choose your options in their own section. These ones are still there. So let's go back to the default. Let's remove those again and then click on save changes instead of going to the next tab. Now they should be gone. There we go. We have just a choose your option section. And this extra border is produced by the theme. I'm not exactly sure why it's there. It's not usually there because we don't have a border set for these options here. So if this appears, you have to use some CSS to make that border go away. Uh, let's go back to choose your options. I'm going to add another field. Gonna make this one delivery date. So I'm gonna choose a date picker field. Give it a name of delivery date, label of delivery date, placeholder of when do you want these to be delivered? Default date is set to none. I wonder if you could set like one week from now. Just to whatever the today's date is, the default date is always one week or one day or seven days, five days, or whatever from today. Not sure if you can do that. Click on required make it required. I almost always have the label position at the top of the field. Display rules we don't have to set because it's inside of a section that already has display rules. Click on save and close, save changes, come back out here and refresh. And boom, we have a delivery date, which is a date picker. I click into there, which is pretty sweet. Let's just run through how this actually works. Let's choose a top half color of red, bottom half color of blue, delivery date of that. And let's order five of these. Click on add to cart. Now let's click on view cart. And it shows right in our cart what our options are. 
top half color red, bottom half color blue, delivery date January 27th. And this is what your customers will see, obviously, when they're on the checkout page. This is what you will receive in emails that you get when they order. This is what they will receive when they order. So everybody's very clear on what the options that were chosen were, and so you can deliver the appropriate product. We can also come in here and go to advanced settings, and we can choose where we want those options to appear. These options right here that I have highlighted, whatever the customer selects from your custom fields. You can hide them on the cart page, you can hide them on the checkout page, you can hide them from the order details page. You can also let them be posted as URL parameters if you're more developer oriented, you can choose that option. So you can choose any of these that you want. I would usually keep them on so people are very clear what's happening. Unless of course you have a list of like 30 and then it might not make sense to have them on the cart page or checkout page, but you definitely want to have them on the order details page. You wanna have them somewhere to make sure everybody is on the same page. And then down here we have backup import settings. We can just copy and paste this entire code from here, copy it, go to a website where you just install this plugin, paste it into here, click on import settings, and then all your settings will be imported, making it super easy to transfer sites. You can also modify the add to cart button text that you see here by entering text in here. And the very last thing, you can reorder these guys. If I wanted the bottom color on top, just click and hold and drag this hamburger icon and we have reordered things. When you've done that, click on save, go back out to the product, refresh, and we now have those guys reordered. You can also duplicate sections by clicking the duplicate button right there. Now about this extra border that we have that we don't want, let's see if we can get rid of that. Let's click on inspect and let's switch this back to not responsive. And let's see if we can find out why that's happening. We have a border right here on tables. One pixel solid. If I delete this, those borders are gone. So if I take this right here, I'm just going to copy this whole thing. I'm just going to click and drag and copy that. And then let's close this. Let's refresh so it comes back so we can make sure the change we're doing is actually saving. And let's go into appearance and then customize. Scroll down to additional CSS, paste this in. We just copy this from our browser. And let's make this border none. Click on publish. Come back out here and refresh. And now hopefully the border will be gone. And the border is gone. Now this is kind of uh, uh, probably not the best way to do it because this will apply to all tables on the site. So somewhere in this theme, this is the Astra theme. Somewhere in the theme, this was coded in to add a border to tables. And now by saying that CSS selector, the tables, border none, no tables will have borders now. So it's not ideal the way we did it there. So what we probably want to do is create CSS classes for these specific options inside of the options, inside of the plugin. By clicking the pencil beside any one of them, go to display rules and add classes for labels and the wrapper, and then do some trial and error and find out which one we can add border none to to make the border go away. So that's how we'd make that border go away. Depending on which theme you're using, you might not even see extra borders or any kind of display issues. And if you found this video helpful, next up, check out this playlist. It's all about WooCommerce tips and tricks. There's a whole bunch of videos to help you improve your WooCommerce shop right over there. So check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from the AP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.